Hi, welcome to the range today. Today we're going to be looking at a project I've been working on. Uh, it's a little bit of a prototype idea of using a Raspberry Pi and a camera as a shot cam for out here on the range. As you can see, I 3D printed a box on it. I don't have any permanent mounts hooked up to it yet. It's just a box that I found on the internet that looks like it works. I'm going to go put it out at 75 yards and see if I can't get it set up and uh, soon you'll see some video from this guy and again this is in the prototype phase and how I'm hoping for is that uh, this is going to be streaming Wi-Fi to my phone or tablet or to my laptop wherever I'm shooting at so that way not only from the Raspberry Pi record the uh, video but will also stream to the device so I can watch the uh, targeting. As I said in the beginning of the video, this is just a prototype idea. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus and a night vision camera kit with IR LEDs. This will probably not be the finished project for the shot cam, but I also wanted to play with some night vision tests with the Raspberry Pi to see how well that will do. That might be a later video. Going forward, I will probably use a Raspberry Pi Zero and a regular camera kit to reduce the cost and also the size of the device. Reaching 75 yards was not an issue. I was seeing anywhere from negative 75 dB to negative 85 dB on my Wi-Fi analyzer and I was able to connect at my shooting deck at 75 yards out at the target. I'm not sure without any range extenders if it's going to hit 100 it was kind of pushing it there, but again, for this test, it worked perfectly fine. Like I said, I'm going to probably be moving on to Phase 2 using a Raspberry Pi Zero to see if I get the same range out of it as I do at uh, the 3B. And that again will probably, once I'm done, cut the cost more than half building something specific instead of everything I used here. But like I said, I had other ideas in mind for another project. And this one just kind of tailed in. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave any comments if any questions. And I will hopefully within the next couple of weeks have uh, Mark II up and running.